quick rundown on the MaxiSU dash. Get tackle, get lambda values, get all four cylinder head temperatures, cylinder one, two, three, and four. Get lam injection lambda target, so that that one and this one should be pretty close. You get the total fuel trim. This will go down as the car heats up. It will start out at maybe 25, 30 percent. It will go down as the car heats up. You get the current ignition angle. You got some throttle position, battery voltage, uh, fuel temperature, and stuff like that. Uh, you should uh, be when you're driving. Basically, you want to make sure these temperatures don't go over 200 degrees Celsius. And while driving, you always want the lambda to be less than one. It can idle at one or close to one, but while driving, it should be somewhere between 0 0.85 and 0 0.8 at full throttle, and uh, at cruising 0 0.95 or something like that. If we turn the engine off, or we can check the normal oil pressure and oil temps. I've only been driving out, for, out driving for 10 minutes or so, so the oil pressure and the oil temp is pretty normal. And I will show you one more special feature on this car, and that is uh, the oil pressure alarm. So when you turn the ignition on, there's a counter underneath the dash that starts and it's triggered by the oil light. So after 30, about 30 seconds and with the oil light on, you will hear a loud beep. There we go. If you hear this while driving, you need to turn off the engine because the on engine oil, light, oil pressure light has come on. So if it's triggered by a counter that starts after 30 seconds. After 30 seconds the oil light normally is out. So if we do this. Start the engine. Once the oil light is out, then we can run the engine until the gas goes out. And the warning sound won't come on until after 30 seconds with the engine running and the oil light comes on. So if I were to disconnect the oil pre pressure sender now, the oil light would come on and the beeper would sound. switch on the side so you can turn it off if you're working on the electrics or something you need to use the have the ignition on while working on it but uh, re just remember to put it on again before you start driving the car you can see uh, normal temperatures cylinder one will always be a little bit hotter than the others and cylinder two is the, for some reason the coldest of the four. Uh, number three and four are always pretty similar. That's a bit short info about the engine and the Maxi dash.